Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare and welcome to our Thursday Night Rock and Pour collaboration. Tonight we have our normal lineup for the summer. We have me coming up in a minute, Lori Houston Art coming up at 645 and rounding out our Rock and Pour night will be Angela Bliss at 7 o'clock. And I guarantee we're all going to have something really cool to present to you tonight. And speaking of presenting things, partway through my video I'm going to have a little uh, sharing from one of my probably my youngest, if you want to call them fans or subscribers, who shared something with me and I want to share it with all of you. So without any further ado, let's get this rock and porn night started. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCart. Welcome to my channel. And I'm trying to burn through some of these paints. Um, I've had some amazing results with these blues but I'm trying to uh, get through it and uh, I'm going to try to make a couple more lids. And uh, so what I've got here is my Pro Sky Blue with Golden's Phthalo Green and also some Zinc White. Here's the consistency. This color has been phenomenal and it goes fantastically with the sea glass. So at the last minute here, I changed the lineup. I was going with a lot of blues. I took out the gold. I'm adding this Naples yellow that I've got to use up this paint. Of course, I've got air bubbles in it now. And I'm adding this brown that I used in my KS resin pour at the last minute instead of the turquoise because I already had enough blue here. So I have no idea how this brown is going to react with the rest of this. So I haven't done a test canvas. I'm just playing around. And then this is a uh, Payne's Gray Cell Activator. It's really thick. I might have to thin this down a little bit. I just mixed it up. All right, so I'm going to get started here in a second. So everyone, I'm going to pick up the pace here. I'm going to do two jar lids for you tonight, plus that little special sharing I'm going to have. So I have to pick up the pace. I'm just going to show you how I laid on the colors. Everything will be listed in the description below. So if you click on the title of the video, it'll say more and there'll be a drop down. If you drop down, you'll get all of the information about this video and other information that you might want to know. So there I'm just laying the pillow paint. One of the things I mentioned is that I'm concerned about having the brown next to the yellow just because it could get muddled. So that was one of the things I expressed. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna put on some music and we'll get through the layering of the colors. I'm going to try to blow this out really quick. So for all my bloom blowouts, I try to talk through it real quick and I blow straight down into the center of the cell activator. And in this case, this is so small, I thought I would just be able to blow it and spread it all out in one fell swoop. But you see me just spinning it around and I'm just blowing more on the outside of the jar lid just to get it over the edge. I'll add water to it. But the brown is nice in there. It actually looks pretty good. All right, let's give this thing a whirl. I'm gonna cut out a little bit of the spinning to save some time. Lightening, it's getting lighter, weird. What is going on? Is that the yellow? Huh. 
This is a reaction of somebody who didn't do a test tile, and the final piece is the test tile. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm loving this. I'm trying to imagine that on a jar. How is that going to look? I'm really thinking hard on this one. Structurally, it's good. It's definitely different. It's definitely different. It's not bad. It's not bad. Let's try to warm up to this thing. So for the next couple minutes, I'm actually debating what to do with this. And August would definitely notice that hand on the hip. I can't decide. I think gold would help. So I'm going to show you a version where I swap out the Naples yellow and put in the gold. But first, I'm going to give you a close-up. So here's where it is. And I'm going to do it with gold and see what the difference is. So I'm going to do an inspirational pause here for a shout-out. So everyone, I'm going to take an interlude here to do a shout out for my youngest fan, I think, and subscriber who goes by the name of Daction on social media. Now, his mom reached out to me to share this amazingly gigantic tic-tac-toe board that Daction made for his dad for Father's Day and for his father's retirement from the service. Now, Daction gives me credit as having inspired him and says that my channel, he refers to it as unconventional art and says that Miss Louise likes to think outside the box and he has to think outside the box too. So in this creation, he thought outside the box and look what he made. So I just want to give Daction an amazing shout out. You rock man. Go on, keep making some really cool creations. And just as a reminder that we on social network here have a responsibility to try to inspire people, always keep it positive and always keep good things happening. So to action, thank you so much. Thank you, mom. And thank you, dad, for your service. Now back to the video. So I decided to let the last one live. And we're going to see what happens when I just substitute in the gold for, I want to put more of this down the middle, the gold for the yellow. I want to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to pick up the pace here. It's the same order that I put down the other one with the exception of swapping in the gold for the Naples yellow. And on the brown, I lightened up on how much brown I put down this time. So here's the gold, and it's going to be really good for you guys to see just what one color difference makes in the entire result. And at the end here, I'm going to show you how I thin down my cell activator because in the first one it was too thick. It's really easy. I'll be back in a second after some music. spritz it if you can see it's a few sprays just to thin it just a hair much more runny okay good all right now again I'm just gonna blow this thing out One fell swoop, I think.
All right, everyone, I'm going to double time and speed through and also cut out some of the spinning for the rest of this. You can see what I'm doing. You've already seen one created, so you know what's happening. I'll also have both wet results coming up showing with the Naples yellow and then also with the gold to see the difference. After that, you're going to see how I remove the tape after I've resined it. And then last, I will have an overview of the resin results. Definitely could be kitchen color. You know what? These colors work well. I mean, it's not my ideal, like my black coasters, but I think it works. I think I like the gold better. But I'll do a side by side at the end here. Okay, so here's here's this one. So here's a close up of the wet results. This is with the Naples yellow, and this one here is with the gold. And let me know which one you prefer best. I'm gonna show you how I remove the tape from my jar lids. So I just did these jar lids, resin them. I resin them less than 24 hours ago, and now I'm gonna get the tape off of the edges here. So I'm gonna start by pulling out the middle. So I'm gonna disconnect everything that's holding it together inside. So I have no resistance when I go to peel, peel the, so I have no resistance when I go to peel the tape off from around the jar lid. All right, so everything looks disconnected on the inside, so there's no resistance. Now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun real quick. The edges and this will help make the tape more malleable it should make it easier to peel off the edge of the tape. Now I just heated this up a little bit with the heat gun. There we go. Look at that. So that's a wrap. That was a packed video. Two jar lids, a shout out, and how I remove tape from the lids. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Naples side, the other is the gold. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit the bell, and all comment, thumbs up, and next we go to Lori Houston Art. Thank you, everybody.